Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Hey everybody, Dr. Sam here. I'd like to welcome you to another Eye Clarity podcast. So today I want to talk about nitric oxide. This is a molecule that's produced naturally by your body and it's important for many aspects of your health. One of the most important functions of nitric oxide is something called vasodilation. And this means that the inner muscles of the blood vessels begin to widen and this increases your circulation. And the blood vessels that I want to talk about today are called the microcapillary blood vessels. And they make up over 70% of the circulation in the body. And yet, allopathic medicine very rarely will target or address the health of the microcapillaries. They're really looking at the big arteries and veins only. Well, this is where nitric oxide comes in because the production of it has been found to be essential for our health because it improves the blood supply, our circulation, And this allows for better nutrient absorption, better oxygenation, better hydration, which reduces inflammation and oxidative stress. In fact, nitric oxide is used to reduce the risk of cardiovascular health, diabetes, erectile dysfunction. And I want to talk about how nitric oxide could benefit your eye health, especially if you've been diagnosed with glaucoma. I'm going to point you to a study that was published in the Investigative Ophthalmology and Visual Science Journal. And in this particular research study, researchers took a look at nitric oxide and the regulation of the fluid production in the eye. And the technical term is called aqueous humor dynamics. So this means that, you know, in the production rate of the aqueous humor, there's an exiting of the fluid through these outflow pathways. And some of the famous ones, which I've talked about before in other shows, the trabecular meshwork and Schlem's canal, actually make up somewhere between 60 and 90% of the entire outflow of this fluid in the eye. Now, when there is elevated intraocular pressure, there is a a blockage in this outflow, and this is a contributing factor to optic nerve damage. So progressive optic nerve damage and loss of retinal ganglion cells, nerve fiber layers that thin in the retina, these are all the kind of the result of the poor circulation in the eye, which leads to glaucoma. And glaucoma is a silent disease. We don't know that we have it. And of course, there are genetic influences on, you know, having a higher incidence of developing glaucoma, but also things like head trauma, inflammatory uh, disease, oxidative stress, visual stress, just to name a few reasons why people develop glaucoma. So in this particular study, nitric oxide was reported to have positive effects in being able to regulate the front part of the eye, the muscle we call the iris sphincter muscle, 
And this is the colored part of the eye that you see that regulates the pupil. And then in the posterior part of the eye, optic nerve, ocular blood vessels, there was a potential of benefit with glaucoma patients by reducing their interocular pressure when they used nitric oxide. So what are some sources of nitric oxide? Well, certain vegetables contain a compound called nitrate. And some of these vegetables include celery, lettuce, beetroot, arugula, spinach. And when these foods are consumed, nitrates are converted to nitric oxide, which then gives us those health benefits of the vasodilation. So it's increasing our heart health. And, and it also can do things like lower our blood pressure. And of course, it may also impact the circulation in our eyes. Now, those folks that eat things like bacon and cold cuts and hot dogs, those contain something called sodium nitrate. And those are com commonly used as preserv preservatives or color fixatives. And those are negative for you. Those can increase the risk of developing cancer. But if you get your nitrate intake from plants, from plant-based foods, then you won't have any risk whatsoever and you just get the benefits of the nitric oxide. So that's one way through those foods. The second way is by boosting your antioxidants, specifically there are four of them that I recommend, vitamin C. We know vitamin C helps in helping your body <clears throat> form healthier connective tissue, skin health, bone health, increases the tendons and cartilage. It also produces brain chemicals to help the nerve cells. And vitamin C can help reduce the risk of cataracts. The second ingredient is vitamin E. Now, I have discovered through my extensive research, the form of vitamin E I recommend is from an anato tea, a tree, anato tree. And I actually offer it on my web store. But this particular antioxidant is neuroprotective. So it helps on a cellular level protect you against free radicals, which contribute to inflammation, aging, and so on. It's also very important in boosting your immune health. Number three are the polyphenols. These are a category of antioxidants associated with several health benefits, including lower, lowering your cancer risk and cardiovascular health. And number four is glutathione, the master antioxidant of the body. Glutathione is a great detoxification agent, and it's also helpful for reducing your risk of developing cataracts. Now, the third way to boost nitric oxide is through a supplement, supplement called L-arginine. And this is uh, essential amino acids, which are precursors for increasing the nitric oxide pathway. And several studies have shown that L-arginine is very helpful for increasing blood flow, reducing blood pressure. And if things go well, I'm still in the research stage, I'm going to be offering a form of L-arginine as part of a overall protocol for reducing the risk of developing glaucoma. So to summarize, nitric oxide is a molecule I want you to begin to put on your radar screen. It's produced naturally in the body. You can get it through plant-based foods that have nitrates in them. Nitric oxide is very helpful at creating a vasodilation, especially in the microcapillaries uh, throughout the entire body. And this can reduce your risk for cardiovascular disease, glaucoma, reduce your blood pressure. And because it increases the, the blood flow, you reduce your risk of developing inflammatory diseases, free radical accumulation, and aging. So check it out. I'm going to speak more about it. But that's our show for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, take care.
Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the iClarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.